one another, that we make vows to God. We say that we will continue in the family ways, the apostles' teaching and fellowship, the breaking of bread and in the prayers. We promise to seek and serve Christ in all persons and, and respect the dignity of every human being. These are our family traditions and our family customs. And then in the story commonly called the attitude that I read just a moment ago, Jesus tells us what faithful living as he kind of paints a picture of what life will be like in, in this way that we call the kingdom. And Jesus says that we are blessed, that you are blessed. But oftentimes, we're going to find our blessing in ways that we don't expect. Jesus says, blessed are the poor in spirit. In other words, on those occasions, and we've all had them too, when we come to the end of our road, you are blessed because with less of you, there is more of God in your life and in your world. You are blessed on those occasions when you think and feel and believe that you have lost what is most dear to you. In those moments, you can be embraced by God who holds you dear to his heart. You are blessed when you are content to be just who you are, nothing more, nothing less. Then in that moment, you will find yourself the proud owner of everything that cannot be bought. And that is life of God. Blessed are you when you get your inside world and, and mind, your heart and your soul, focused in the right direction. And with your inside world fixed right, you can see God in the outside world. Blessed are you when your commitment to the way of Jesus provokes ridicule from without, because that moment will drive you deeper into God's kingdom. To be a part of this family is to try to live in the way of Jesus. Now remember this too. Jesus never starts with a theology of God on high and works down and imposes it on us. No, Jesus always catches us where we are, on the ground up. He begins by telling people stories, people like us. He tells them stories about what God is like and how big and how grand God can be, and how this great God loves you so much. And then Jesus asked us to, how we might best reflect that this enormous blessedness and generosity is given to us so that our idea about God and the possibilities about God can ever grow and ever expand. So yes, yeah. blessed are you Blessed are you saints, followers of Jesus, children of God. Blessed are you forever.